Hey everyone, welcome back. I am back today with more Titans and I'm very excited about that. If you're joining me early today, it means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much. And as always, you know I'm sending you those big old hugs right through the screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in the description down below. Uh, so last time on Titans. Um, so I will tell you, straight up I was not expecting to like the dick being in prison um story at all um that just kind of like seemed like overkill to me at first and I was like oh I just but I have to say I really ended up liking his little arc of you know kind of going in there to be like you know I'm not helping people anymore and I need to do my time and blah 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 and then immediately being put in a situation where people needed his help and he had to decide you know what he was gonna do and it took me a while to figure out after a while of seeing it I was able to put together that that bird that they kept on drawing on the cell walls was the Nightwing symbol um, at least that's what it looked like to me um, so I thought that was pretty cool and it's a little push in the right direction of him becoming Nightwing. Um, so I actually ended up enjoying that a lot more than I thought I was going to, but I'm like that, that's, that's good for me. Like I'm ready for him to be out of prison, <laughs> but, uh, considering he got caught by the guards trying to help those people escape, I don't know where they're going with that now. Um, so I guess we'll find out, but, um, in other characters news, um, we had some pretty cool stuff with Rachel, um, her, you know, time at the soup kitchen and everything, meeting the, um, girl, and I really like their interactions, um, but it also served to show, like, where her powers are at right now, because just as I was saying, um, hey, it seems like she's got a pretty good handle on these powers now, yeah, she did in that moment, but then they, like, went rogue and possessed the gargoyle and hunted down the guy that she was, like, just trying to put a scare into, uh, and, and, did more than just scare him. So, um, that's not good. <laughs> so I'm sure we'll be getting more of that pretty soon. Um, and when it comes to Gar and Connor, um, they are both back at Cadmus now and I'm pretty scared about the whole, um, Mercy's whole, like, Hey, let's, uh, let's make like a, it sounded like she wanted to make a team like put together the titans but on like um lex luther's terms basically um under the the auspices of this um corporation um i can never remember if it's called lex corp or luther corp <laughs> because i was a smallville watcher back in the day i think it's actually lex corp in the, in the comics i've read comics as well but everything just gets fuzzy as you get older guys what can i tell you <laughs> Oh, it's my old age. <laughs> um, so anywho, um, so I'm scared about that. And I was so enjoying seeing Gar and Connor interact and Crypto, little baby boy. Um, so I'm I'm pretty like on edge about what's going to happen now that they're um, um, kind of uh, it, uh, not imprisoned exactly, but pretty much. I mean, I don't think they can leave anytime they want at, uh, at Cadmus. Um, so... I'm enjoying it so far. I know we only got a couple episodes left in this season. Um, I'm really curious to see how things get wrapped up and or what cliffhanger we're left on. And um, one thing's for sure, there is only one way to find that all out, and it is to jump in to the next episode of Titans. So what do you say? We do this. Let's go. I saw you yesterday in the training room. I couldn't bring it back in. <laughs> what are they doing to my beautiful boy? What are they doing? No, 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 no. They're trying to trigger his powers. Oh, you guys, I am not about them cutting open 
my car. I'm not about it. I can't do it. Oh no, he's sick. Somebody's caught a bug. Bad news. I'm alone. Jericho. Oh my goodness. Something's going on. I knew it. I was kind of hoping Jericho might not be gone. Scary looking dude. Oh, that was terrifying. This voice mailbox is full. Please try again later. Goodbye. Mm. Come on. Die. Someone someone's gotta put this together and do something. Oh, gonna tell it like it is. Hey Mel, you ever had your heart broken? I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> Me neither. Poor Dawn. Wasn't that the song that was made so famous and DC stuff by Harley Quinn in the movies? You know what? Good for her. Like she's not gonna be kept down by her heartbreak she's gonna go back for it it's hard it's hard to let go of all that it all happened so fast oh she's taking the picture of four of them oh Corey's uh I feel like Corey's lost her way a little bit I think you might be seeking escapism by using me as a. I, 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 this guy's trying to analyze her as this develops. Oh, they're all being. They're all like being summoned to this one place. I wonder what's. Wait, why is this popping up? Who is making this happen? But honestly. It's time to get out of here. I'm not going anywhere. I'm booked for an extended stay. This is where I belong. Look at yourself. Moping in this hole like a coward. So you made a few mistakes. You got knocked down. Guess what? Nobody cares. Oh, I think you just wanted a reason to give up. Not just on Jericho, but everybody. Rachel, Gar, Jason. Am I leaving anybody out? <laughs> Quitter. Oh boy. Oh, come on, Dick. It's time to break out already. Awake I haven't seen time. this. Good morning, beautiful. Oh, that's what I thought was happening. Oh. Okay. Like afternoon. Why'd you let me sleep so long? Well, you bring me to your hometown, and the only thing we've done is beat up some crackheads. You won't even take me to Wayne Manor. Fuck Wayne Manor, Rose. I was never the real me anyway. Dick, look out! Dick, no! No! Uh... I need to get off! I'm gonna need you to go and 
figure it out, okay? Donuts coming right up. Oh boy. Why was there a commercial? Ooh. What the fuck is wrong with me? Rachel? What the hell are you doing here? It was the donuts. I can't believe they don't even sell donuts. Rachel? I wonder if she like unconsciously got all the Titans back together or if someone else put all those commercials. Oh, I didn't see that coming. I'm so glad you all could make it. But this was a... This is a family of choice. Breaking apart was a choice. In the light of this news, I'm asking you to make another one. If you won't protect one another, who will? Batman out. <laughs> Drop the mic, Batman. Look at those donuts. Look so good. Oh my goodness. I need a donut. Don't be surprised my next reaction. I got a donut. <laughs> Just kidding. I won't eat during a reaction. <laughs> Did he just leave? Today's top story, two men escaped Kane jail, apparently aided by a prison Detroit police detective. Now they're going to put it together. Details on this story and more on our next news update. And the you plot thickens. You're fucking kidding me. <laughs> right? <laughs> that was awesome. Wait. Look, I know Dick Grayson, okay? He put himself up on that cross. Nailed himself to it. He's going to have to take himself down, too. Anna's right. Whatever Dick's doing, he's doing to himself. Please. Get the band back together, guys. Go save Connor and Gar and Crypto. And Dick. I'm sorry, Rachel. Gar needs us more. How did Bruce make her check engine light come on, though? Something's... It's, there's something more to it. He would have had to film that commercial. <laughs> Let's go. Aww. Yeah, it's good. She got a mission now. She's actually got something to do to get her mind off all this Blackfire stuff. You're all in high school? Great. What's next? You gonna ask me to prom? Not my school. My home. But don't get me wrong, it's still totally lame that your big secret is that you're a theater nerd. Thespians. Okay, thespians, <laughs> not theater nerds. Tell me this wouldn't have been a better high school musical. Tell me. Change my mind. <laughs> Can we go? Hopefully that. Oh, man, I'll take you there. Please break out in song. I beg you, break out in song. Make my life complete. Somehow. My God! He's tiny tin heart got to me. Is Jericho possessing Slade? You both love Jericho. Yeah, like even in his mind, even his like mind, Bruce cannot be beaten. Wow! Not Robin anymore. Strong, hmm. faster. Like a bird of prey. He's an even bigger bird. Oh my god, he really is! He really is just doing this in his cell. Tell me he didn't break his arm in his cell and put it back in place by himself. So, I won. I think you should go. No. Wait! Oh, he's remembering something. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Mm. 
He's pointing to something. What was he pointing to? Oh, look at look at his shadow. Oh my god, it's so cool. What was he pointing to though? Hello. It's me. Just calling to say this little game you're playing with the Titans. I'm out. Oh. Is that so? Oh. Oh my goodness. So much big stuff going on. Whoa. Oh, jailbreak. Uh oh. You okay? Yeah, of course. Stay back. I mean, she has been drinking a lot. Maybe that impairs her ability. I don't think that's what it is, though. I think they're building up to, like, something's going on with her. Don't tell me he already broke out. Wouldn't it be funny if he, like, already broke out? I, I knew it! I knew it! What happened? I hate I oof, I hate seeing him being used like this. So they conditioned him to like be triggered at certain times. Oh, Gar, what have they done to you? No! What have they done to my Gar? They've turned him into like their own killing machine. And they've messed with his mind. Also, Jericho is alive. I feel like we got like a very good revelation and a very bad revelation. <laughs> All in like 20 seconds. Um, wow, you guys. So I kind of wondered if Jericho might be alive. But they didn't follow up on it right away. Like I like how they kind of like let it sink in. And then they're like, oh, but what if he wasn't? So I wonder if he's possessing Slade. I wonder if Rose is working with Slade or with Jericho or with both. Um, apparently Rose was kind of in on this and was going to infiltrate the Titans, I'm guessing. I'm guessing that was the plan. And now she's out because she's really starting to have feelings for Jason, which it makes sense as to why she would be so hesitant to, like, get involved with him. Also, Jason loves theater. That was a revelation. That was really fun. Um, really wish they had broken out into song, but oh well. Um, something's going on with Corey's powers. Yeah, Hang on, let me see if there's a after credits. Oh, nope. No after credits. Okay, so as I was saying, um, okay, so I got into this a little bit while the the credits were rolling and while I was waiting to see if there was an after credits. Um, so something's going on with Corey's powers, so we know that. Might have something to do with the whole Blackfire situation, I'm not sure. Or maybe it's something different, like is she... I don't know, like does it have something to do with like her reign and her crown and like if she doesn't claim it in a certain amount of time or something, I don't know. Like there, maybe there's something more to it. I'm not really familiar with. I didn't read a lot about Starfire when I was reading comics, um, so I don't know if like maybe this is like a thing that she goes through or um, Dick having the Bruce in his mind come and put some sense in him was really nice. Um, so I was kind of saying from the beginning of this whole prison thing that like okay. 
I get that you did something awful, but then again, like, think of the potential good you could be putting into the world. Not that that ever makes up for it, but, I mean, to just lock yourself away... And Bruce was saying all that, but with a much uh, sharper, <laughs> sharper wit than I ever could. I love Bruce. I love mind Bruce. And I don't know if that was the actual Bruce now that showed up in the diner. Now I'm wondering, like, was it Jericho possessing Bruce? Like, that's kind of like, really, Bruce Wayne is going to film a phony commercial for a diner and do all that to, like, I don't know, maybe he really did. Maybe Bruce has a lot of time on his hands these days, and he's like, sure, why not? Um, you know, El what, what was that called? Like, the Elko Joe or something? Like, maybe, who knows? Maybe it really was Bruce, but now it's got me questioning, like, was that even Bruce? Um, so who knows? Um, I'm fairly sure, if I had to guess that Jericho is possessing Slade. We know he was pointing to something. I don't think they really ever told us what he was pointing at yet, um, but I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. Um, so I'm really glad that um, Dick has kind of come to a realization about that and about him like being in prison and needing to get out of prison now because that needs to be done already. Um, so... Um, what else? Rachel, we didn't get too much more into her powers in this one, except that we know that that girl really wanted her dad dead. So I wonder if maybe, like, Rachel's power, does that maybe have something to do with it? Do, like, strong emotions, like, even from other people, have an influence on it or something, maybe? Or maybe Rachel knew that and unconsciously, like, reanimated the rest of her power that, you know, went into the gargoyle and then did in the dad. Um, Jason, the stuff between Jason and Rose is really, really fun and really sweet. And it's nice to see like another side of Jason and another side of Rose, apparently, who apparently was in on, she was in on something. I don't know if she's working with Slade or she's working with like, if Jericho is possessing Slade or what, but that added another deeper element to that situation. Um, my gar being cut up and experimented on and manipulated. I just, I will not have it. Uh, it needs to be done. Um, Donna and Dawn need to go in and wreck house and rescue him and Connor and Crypto. And that's that. Um, really enjoyed the Bruce Wayne actor in this episode, seeing him again. That was great. He is always delightful. No matter what he's doing, he's just like at a thousand percent. I love it. So we're, we're starting to ramp up into the final episodes of the season now. And now I can see like the groundwork that they're laying uh, for all of that. So I'm guessing we'll have like a confrontation with Jericho at some point, which should be really, really good. Um, so I'm really enjoying it, you guys. I can't wait to see what happens next. Thank you so much for joining me. And please be sure to join me next time. We'll watch it together. Bye, guys.